Hey guys, I'm Mark, and you're probably wondering what this huge tent is behind me over here by the formal garden. This weekend, we're gonna have some friends having a wedding reception here at our farm, and there's gonna be over a hundred and some people, and we're gonna have food and a band and a bar and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so we're gonna do a few things to get ready for it. Uh, I already started on a couple things, just some interesting stuff with some plantings and uh, some new beds. And I'm gonna take you over there and kind of show you what's going on. Okay, so now we're inside the garden and you can see behind me, there's a couple new things that we got going on here. I put in a couple of bluestone um, flat surfaces to put our, we have some uh, bronze statuary that was here, but it's been relocated for a while because we couldn't really get it to sit right. So this project has been put off for a while and this wedding was a good uh, reason to get in here and do this. So we tamped it down. Um, like I said, this is blue stone. It's just gravel underneath here and then sand. So hopefully that stays nice and level like this. I think it will. Uh, but anyway, that's what that is. And I'll show you a video going forward of what they look like when they're up, of course. But then there's uh, some other stuff over here I want to show you as well. Okay, guys, this is the center point of the entire formal garden. This is a 16-foot diameter bed that's been here for many years. It just hasn't been used in a lot of years. So to... to uh, Crack it back open again was a lot of fun. And uh, also, since we we're gonna be planting this up, I thought, it was be a, I thought it would be a good opportunity to bring in a whole bunch more soil and just kind of mound it up and give it a little bit more, uh, little bit more impact, a little bit more dimension to it. Uh, and also, I brought in some mushroom soil as well to just sort of uh, recondition the soil a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna plant this up with a bunch of salvias uh, Mystic Spires salvia, it's like real nice blue salvia, and then I'm going to underplant it with some calabrachoas, probably some mixed kinds, um, maybe predominantly yellow in that field, just because yellow goes so well with blue. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with it yet until uh, it's, I'm going to have to go down and see what I have in the greenhouse and see what's available and kind of let the gears start spinning from there. But um, I think what's really going to be interesting is what we put in the middle of it. I think I'm going to go with maybe a colocasia. Uh, or, or an alocasia, we have some of those down there. I mean, we've got a few options, so it might be something different, but whatever I do in the middle, I wanna get some, some nice height to it. Um, so this is probably the biggest thing that I've got going on in terms of uh, preparing for this wedding reception this weekend. But uh, there are a couple other things I did wanna show you, and I probably, I'm gonna do another video on this when it's all said and done for you to check out. I think it's gonna look pretty awesome. Something else I wanted to show you at this stage in the game are our bronze urns. The, we have two of these and they're right here in the Japanese holly hedge garden area. And these are gonna get filled before the wedding. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna find two really big plastic containers, preferably something dark uh, so that it kind of blends in. And then I'm gonna pot them up with like, I'm gonna take three hanging baskets that we have and I'm gonna take them out of the hanging basket and I'm gonna plant them inside of a larger pot and then that larger pot's gonna go up inside of here. And it's gonna accomplish a couple things. I mean, it's gonna give me something that, that is gonna start to cascade down a little bit, at least be cascading enough by this weekend. Uh, and then I'm also gonna have um, just that size and that instant impact. And we'll put something up in the center here too. So I'll, uh, I'll show you how that's gonna turn out. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Okay guys, so the wedding was an excellent success. We got everything cleaned up and uh, swept away and everything kind of went by without incident. Uh, it was a really, really nice wedding. Uh, they actually did like a 1950s garden party type thing, which was really cool. There was a lot of people wearing like bright yellow and turquoise and like horn rim glasses and things like that. We had uh, sodas and glass bottles and things and it was just really, really nice. Overall, it went really well. The, he the, uh, the weather held off. It was sort of cloudy uh, we sort of, you know, kind of was looking at the sky a little bit for most of the day and wondering, oh no, is it going to rain or not? But it never did. So it was actually, uh, it was kind of nice because we didn't have the sun beating down on us. Uh, so the, uh, the temperature was really cool, especially if you were in like a, you know, a big dress or a shirt and tie or something like that. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to go over some of the things that we did do around here. Uh, this is the urn to start off with I was talking about. I wound, up, I wound up not doing the idea of putting them in a, in a big pot and then putting it in here. What I did was I just filled this urn, or I wrapped the inside with black uh, woven nursery plastic and then just filled the whole thing with, with uh, a coarser mix of potting soil. And I think just the larger soil mass is gonna wind up helping this out a lot more throughout the summer. Uh, the center 
wound up doing a Miss Molly butterfly bush, which goes really nicely with this Super Cal. It's a, uh, this is a Cicada product. It's a Super Cal cherry. I think it's a cherry. Yeah, that's what it is. But anyway, it works, it works together really, really nicely. There's four hanging baskets in here that I was able to fit all the way around and the colors work pretty well together, I think. But uh, a lot of people enjoyed these at the party and we're gonna enjoy them throughout the rest of the season as they just continue to cascade down. So anyway, uh, you can see that the, uh, the uh, Japanese hollies got all trimmed up. They look really, really nice. Nobody fell on them or sat on them or anything like that. So that's always great. Nobody used them as like a table or anything. Um, so they just, they were really, really enjoyed as well. I wanted to put this video together now before we're about to actually trim, speaking of you know how trimmed up they are, we're about to trim the Nellie Stevens hollies in the background this week. So I wanted to get in here and film this before we did because we cut them back pretty hard. Uh, that just, that's just a nice way for them to you know keep their nice conical shape or that nice cone shape over time, uh, just, to, just to prune them every couple years. There's a great blue heron just flew over. But anyway, going down farther ahead, you can see there's this, uh, where did Holly go? Holly! Holly! There she is. Come on, baby girl. That's a girl. <clears throat> yeah. All right, we're not biting my feet. Yeah. So you can see the center bed really turned out nice, we think. Stop. No. Ah. Stop. Stop. We did a, uh, another Miss Molly butterfly bush in the dead center because uh, that, that picked up with some of these Calabrocoa that we were using. Uh, we did um, just a, sort of a variety of the Calabrocoas. It wound up looking really nice in rings, we thought. And the, the yellow and the purple, they always look good together, yellow and blue. Uh, you can see the Mystic Spires in the center is covered by... Uh, by white cabbage butterflies right now, but there have been a lot of other butterflies hitting on this. Uh, there's, been a, there's been a lot of tiger swallowtails coming out lately, and they've been, uh, they've been frequenting this area in the afternoon. So we're really, we really like how this turns out, and, and again, it's just gonna look nicer and nicer as everything sort of just fills in together over the course of the, over the, course of the year. The Calabrocoa are looking really, really nice. Uh, they, they seem to really like kind of being planted on this, this hill slope here. They're not, they're not like sitting wet or anything. Um, and they just, they're just filling out really exceptionally well. Uh, the last thing I did want to mention from the, early, the earlier part of this video was we did get the cherub statues put up. You can see them in the background. They came out really nice. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed those. It was a common place for people to sit drinks on throughout the wedding. It was kind of interesting because there's a lot of, there were a lot of places and tables around, but for whatever reason, those statues seemed to be an appealing place to kind of set your cocktail. So that was kind of cool. A lot of people sat on these uh, cast iron benches uh, that we laid out there next to those. It, it gave a pretty cool, you know, overlook of the garden to just sit and relax and have a glass of wine. So overall, really, really happy. Like I said, it was uneventful, had a, had a uh, uneventful in terms of nothing, uh, you know, nobody got a little too crazy or anything like that. And we wound up uh, having just a really peaceful evening, dancing, uh, some wine, some beer, some good food, and a lot of good people. So couldn't be happier with how it turned out. So again, thank you for watching this. Just a little update. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos later on this week. But for now, have a good one. See you next time.